Hi, I'm Andrew Linhart, and I'm a senior at Brown Residential College here at Rice. I'm studying mechanical engineering, minoring in applied math on the pre-law track, and I am building a Lego scale model of Rice University. So when I was a kid, I was a big fan of Lego, and I actually still am to, uh, to this day. I love building Lego sets, creating my own models, uh, pretty much everything Lego. Um, is super fun. Uh, I really like the creativity it inspires. I like to build scenes uh, and models of buildings. I just think it's super cool and super fun and is actually part of the reason why I chose mechanical en engineering as a major to begin with. I mean, my mechanical engineering classes have taught me a lot of problem solving and I think one of the main things for this project was really distilling down um, these really complex and complicated buildings into just a handful of pieces because I'm working at such a small scale that these buildings have so many cool details that, and I really want to incorporate all of them into the model but I just can't because I'm at, at such a small scale. So really, be, really being able to recognize kind of the most important features of, of this really complicated thing and say, saying, oh yeah, I need to base my design off of that iconic feature of this building, things like that. Um, I, the one that comes to mind is the uh, arch in George R. Brown. I had to base the entire um, design of that building in my Lego model based around that arch because I had only a limited amount of space to make it, so it was really complicated to get that in. But I think that was one of the ways my coursework really helped was, I mean, just that, that way of approaching problems and problem solving uh, and critical thinking. So the model will be, it'll have roughly a four foot by two foot footprint. So campus isn't exactly a quadrilateral, but it will still occupy that. So basically two by four feet, roughly. 8,064 Lego pieces from 331 unique piece types. So quite a lot going on there. Try to hide some fun Easter eggs in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, excited to see all of them come together. I hid like the Weiss uh, war pig is like a one by one little yellow uh, stud near Weiss. I have like the Hanson guardian statue and Hanson's quad. Um, I have an electric van, that's my capstone project. I, I put in a little one of the cars, I made sure a white car was over nearby the O deck, kind of honoring that. So I have some fun little, fun little hidden details uh, here and there. Um, and I'm also super excited, I bought some uh, rice uh, stickers, because um, oftentimes LEGO sets will have stickers to add a little more detail. So I bought like a rice R, things like that, that I want to put on the football field and the baseball field to give uh, a little more detail there. From the moment we got here, I just explained the project to everyone and they seemed super excited and super passionate about what they were doing. You know, everyone was really self-sufficient. You know, I'd just be like, hey, pick a pick a building and you can build it. You know, just pick a building and just start on it. And they were just good to go. They'd find the pieces. I was super fortunate to have a lot of friends who did have some uh, Lego experience and who worked with me from the very beginning. I know Ian's been super instrumental, my, my roommate. He's, he's been pretty much at every build session. Um, so one of my best catchphrases was, hey Ian, can you help onboard this person? You know, so he, and you know, even though I'd be building or I'd be helping someone else with pieces, I'd have other people who'd be able to help, help bring in people who are less uh, comfortable with Lego. My, one of my favorites is just seeing the final pieces go in. Like when you put the final um, building in and I, I, I saw the model for the first time, not just as a rendering on my laptop that I've been staring at for way too many hours over the past like six months, but seeing an actual physical uh, model in its entirety. I think that was super cool. It just kind of it was a huge payoff for, for tons of hours of work that, that, I, that I've been able to put into this. Um, so that was super, super awesome. But I really also just love working with people. You know, I love just seeing everyone come in, uh, you know, they, they enter the room with a smile on their face, They're like, all right, we're ready, Andrew, we're so excited. Like that is just, I don't know, that's the best, you know, because I really want to, you know, community is important. Like build, building is great, but it, I mean, what really made this special was that it's not just me sitting in a dark room on my own building this. It's like bringing in so many people um, to work with made it really fun. You know, like I'd be I'd be sitting in my bed the, the night before, I'd be like, oh my gosh, there's a Lego build session tomorrow. And I, and I need to calm my mind so I can actually go to bed. I'm so excited. But just like that that feeling of excitement um, and that, that energy that everyone else brought in the room was really, really palpable and really amazing. With campus constantly changing, uh, you know, the Lego model could uh, be outdated in a few years, right? With new residential colleges, with new, um, I know the Seraphim building just bro is, is breaking ground. But I would totally be willing to help out, um, you know, if the model ever needed to be updated or if there's someone else in the community who really wants to update it, I have the full file. Um, I'd pretty much just have to, you know, delete a few bricks here in an empty field uh, and start, you know, building the, the next building. It feels so amazing to be able to have impacted the university like this. I mean, it's what, what, what I, you know, you always dream of. You always really want to make your mark and really try to um, leave a place better than you found it. Um, and I'm just, I feel so fortunate that I've been able to do that in creating something I love and, and something I'm super, super passionate about. I mean, you really can't ask for anything, anything more to, than to have this super fun project in your head and to have so many people willing to help you along the way um, and support you in that project and see your vision. 
Uh, I mean, it's really, really hard to beat, and it's really amazing to be able to walk away. Um, having left something behind for others uh, to enjoy and to hopefully inspire others.